Number 1. Yunina Castle. If there is only one thing you do when in Yunina, it should be to visit Yunina Castle. The castle is at the heart of the historic center of Yunina, and also houses many of the attractions of already listed above the castle has different sections. Within the outer walls, homes, shops, restaurants and hotels sit side by side. Number 2. Fithai Mosque. The Fithai Mosque within the Kale section of Yunina Castle dates back to the 1430s. Originally constructed from wood, it was later rebuilt in stone, and then finally remodeled in the 1700s by the legendary Ali Pasha. His family mausoleum is still located in front of the mosque. Number 3. Byzantine Museum. Closed during my visit, keep that in mind if visiting on a Monday, the Byzantine Museum in Yanina exhibits a collection of icons, silversmithing artifacts, and other items from the Byzantine period. Number 4. Municipal Museum of Yunina. You can find the Municipal Museum of Yunina inside the Aslan Pasha Mosque, yes, another mosque in Yunina. This museum has a lovely little display that demonstrates how the Muslim, Jewish and Christian communities of Yunina lived and worked side by side. Number 5. Silversmithing Museum of Yunina. I didn't have time to visit the Silversmithing Museum, but it's always there for next time. If you're interested in this aspect of Yunina's history or jewelry making, then add it into your sightseeing itinerary. Number 6. Lake Pambodita. Often referred to as Lake Yunina, Lake Pambodita is the most dominating natural feature of town. People staying at the campground will of course have a lakeside view from when they wake up in the morning. Others might choose to take a walk along the lakeside of Pambodita, especially nice on a warm sunny day. Number 7. Yunina Island. When visiting Yunina, be sure to take the inexpensive boat over to Yunina Island on Lake Pambodita. The island has a village which is interesting to walk around, and is a nice place to pick up some souvenirs. There is also a museum there displaying artifacts from the era of Ali Pasha. Number 8. The Historic Center. Touched by a plethora of cultures, Yunina's Historic Center, which is strong with Christian, Muslim and Jewish influences, is one of the first things you should explore when you visit bars, mesodopolea and coffee shops line the streets. Number 9. Archaeological Museum. The Archaeological Museum of Yunina is a must-see. With a collection spanning from the early traces of human presence in Epirus to late Roman times, the museum also features exhibits of archaeological finds from the Sanctuary of Dodoni, one of the greatest from ancient times. Number 10. Domaine Glinevos. L. Though Greek wines may not be renowned abroad, its wine tradition is definitely a good excuse to explore underrated locations. When in Yunina, make sure to visit Domaine Glinevos, a winery established in 1978 by one of the first enologists in Greece. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.